Use code MATCASTER for 5% off your order from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide. Use our code anytime you shop at Face to Face Games to support the show and get the cards you need at a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is January the 3rd, 2023. And before we jump into things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link as well as a TCG Player affiliate link. And any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. Now with that being said, let's get moving. The first loser of the day is Post Son of Rich from the Secret Layer series down 5.69% from $25.14 to $23.71 for its market price and its average price is $21.53. The next loser on our list is an Invasion card by Rexian Alter. This is the original printing of this card, and it's down 6.44% from $53.41 to $49.97 for its market price, and its average price is $43.89. And we've got Jet Medallion, another Secret Lair Series card from the Post Malone series, down 6.46% from $30.79 to $28.80 for its market price, and its average price is $28.83. Prince of Thralls from Shards of Alara. This card is down 7.56% from $13.22 to $12.22 for its market price, and its average price is $11.99. And our final loser of the day is another card from the Post Malone drop, Post Citadel from the Secret Layer series, down 8.07% from $12.52 to $11.51 for its market price, and its average price is $11.79. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Dark Steel Forge from Dark Steel. This card is up again today, 6.27% from $25.51 to $27.11 for its market price, and its average price is $30.75. This card had a few reprints, like the Magic 2014 version of the card, which was a Mythic, currently sitting at $27.43 for its market price, and its average price is $33.07. And the Plane Chase version of this card, currently sitting at $21.45 for its market price, and its average price is $18.99. And the most recent printing of this card from Double Masters, this card is currently sitting at $33.16 for its market price, and its average price is $33.21. And the next winner on our winners list today is a card from the Brothers War, Mural Shield of Argive. And this is the extended art version of this card that you can find in the Collector Booster Packs. It's up 6.28% from $21.17 to $22.50 for its market price, and its average price is $21.73. The regular version of this card is currently sitting at $17.73 for its market price, and its average price is $18.11. This card is seeing a lot of commander play, as a commander itself. However, it's seen play in other decks like Ishin 2 Heavens as one, Winota, Joiner of Forces, and also in the standard format Nazorius Soldier decks. The next winner on our list today is in Modern Horizons Mythic Morphin the Boundless. This card is up 6.30% from $24.11 to $25.63 for its market price, and its average price is $25.40. This card was also printed on the list and that version of the card is sitting at $25.57 for its market price and its average price is $26.88. The Judge promo version of this card is sitting at $59.99 for its average price and this card is seeing a lot of commander play as a commander itself and in other decks like the Ur Dragon, Sliver Overlord, and the First Sliver as well. 
Next up on the winner's list is Crucible of Worlds from Corset 2019. This card is currently up 6.33% from $20.69 to $22 for its market price, and its average price is $22.07. The original printing of this card from Fifth Dawn is sitting at $22.65 for its market price, and its average price is $25.53. The Double Masters 2022 version of this card, which is the most recent printing, is currently sitting at $19.71 for its market price, and its average price is $20.56. And there are a few versions of this card from Double Masters 2022, like the Borderless version, currently sitting at $26.49 for its market price, and its average price is $27.62. And the Foil Etched version of this card, currently sitting at $34.09 for its market price, and its average price is $37. And this card is seeing a lot of play in Commander decks like Omnath, Locus of Creation. However, it's also seeing vintage play in Prison Shops decks. The next winner on our list is Boseju, who endures from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This legendary land is up 6.43% from $26.58 to $28.29 for its market price, and its average price is $28.20. The extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is currently sitting at $29.19 for its market price, and its average price is $34.60. The showcase version of this card using different artwork from the same set is currently sitting at $37.10 for its market price, and its average price is $38.96. This card is seeing a ton of play across a variety of formats in the Pioneer format, seeing play in decks like Nykthos Ramp, Gruel Midrange, Hidden Strings, and in the modern format, seeing play in decks like Indomitable Creativity, 4 to 5 color Omnath, Amiel Titan, and it even sees play in Elves in the Legacy format as well. The next winner on our list is Flusterstorm, and this is the Buy Box promo version of this card, currently up 6.86% from $23.62 to $25.24 for its market price, and its average price is $27.52. The original printing of this card from the original Commander set is currently sitting at $29.63 for its market price, and its average price is $37.32. And the most expensive version of this card is the Judge Promo version, currently sitting at $188 for its market price, and its average price is $199.99. This card is seeing a lot of modern play in Merktide region decks, Indomitable Creativity, and also in vintage decks like Blue Tinker, Doomsday, and even Underworld Breach. Next up on the winner's list is Grief from Modern Horizons 2. This mythic is up 9.03% from $13.85 to $15.10 for its market price, and its average price is $16.35. The borderless version of this card from the same set is currently sitting at $21.67 for its market price, and its average price is $24.56. This card is seeing a lot of modern play in decks like Rakdos Midrange, Living End, as well as Grixis Midrange and Sacrifice decks. It's seeing vintage play in Blue Tinker, Oops All Spells, and even legacy play in Doomsday and Reanimator decks. Next winner on our list is Dranith Magistrate from Ikoria Layer of Behemoth. This card is up 13.12% from $12.42 to $14.05 for its market price, and its average price is $12.99. The extended art version of this card from the Collector Packs is sitting at $14.79 for its market price, and its average price is $15.37. This card is seeing a ton of modern play in decks like Hammer Time, Grinding Station, as well as Commander decks like Winota, Joiner of Forces, Grand Arbiter Augustin, Xur the Enchanter, and even Kenrith the Return King decks. And the next winner on our list today is a card from Eldritch Moon, Hanwar Battlements. This card is up 21.33% from $4.83 to $5.86 for its market price, and its average price is $5.10. This card is seeing a ton of commander play in decks like Ishin 2 Heavens is 1, Mishra Clean by Gix, which is a new card from the Brothers War, Neheb the Eternal, Perforos God of the Forge, and also modern decks like Amulet Titan. And our final winner on our winner section today is a card from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, Asrek the Archlet. This card is up 49.75% today from $5.91 to $8.85 for its market price, and its average price is $6.96. The extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is currently sitting at $7.14 for its market price, and its average price is $7.08. This card also had an ampersand promo version of it released, and that version of the card is sitting at $65.32 for its market price, and its average price is $59.97. Now this card is seeing a ton of commander play in decks like Will Het the Rock Cleaver, Ishin 2 Heavens is 1, Sephiroth of the Hidden Ways, and it's also seeing legacy play in Allure Index. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, 
And we are going to start that list off here with... Green Sun Zenith from Mirrodin Besieged. This foil is up 9.97% from $69.72 to $76.67 for its foil market price. And its average price is $74.39. Next foil is Scepter of Eternal Glory. And this is a surge foil from Universes Beyond, up 10.42% from $20.24 to $22.35 for its market price. And its average price is $97.50. Next foil on our list is Void Snare from Magic 2015, up 10.67% from $15.47 to $17.12 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14.89. The next foil is Abundant Growth from the Secret Layer series, up 12.51% from $19.99 to $22.49 for its foil market price, and its average price is $24.97. And the next foil winner on our list today is Deep Channel Mentor, and this is a foil from Shadowmoor. It's up 19.84% from $25.45 to $30.50 for its foil market price, and its average price is $19.99. The next foil winner on our list is a card from Dark Ascension Face Shield, up 25.83% from $3.91 to $4.92 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.68. Our final foil winner of the day is a card from Saviors of Kamigawa, Promise of Bunray. Currently up 50.54% from $4.61 to $6.94 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.43. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers it really really means a lot to me and if you could could you hit the like button so this video does get shared into youtube's algorithm so i can continue to grow on this platform obviously all the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel and i'm forever grateful for that also let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day which cards be most surprised to see on the list and which cards do you actually own that showed up on the list today i do read every single comment that you guys leave so please leave them there down below for me to read also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.